Hello again. So, a little bit too cold to be out in the garage wrench, wrenching this week, so I'm going to knock out another 3D printing project. So, I've got these tarp clamps that I picked up at a yard sale. Come in handy when you're camping, holding tarps together, holding the corners of them down. And you can feed a rope through the, the loop end of it. So any tarp that doesn't have a hole in it, you can clip this on there and feed a rope through it. So the ends of them are getting really dried out and starting to break all over the place and they're just not quite holding as, as well. So I'm going to design some new ones in FreeCAD and print them out of Semiflex. It's a semi-flexible TPU based filament from Ninjatech and I made myself a crude little drawing to go off of. Obviously I have to make a couple tweaks to make that printable. So let's get started. As usual here's the uh, version info and build info if you need that. And in the part design workbench I always got to start with the body and we'll start with a sketch on the XY plane. We'll just start with the bottom. It was 14.25 wide. Give that a nice radius. I'm just going to go as big as it'll let me. Okay. 3.5, 9, looks like it. And we'll have to chamfer the bottom of it here also. Just as big as we can. Take two, we'll take one point nine. Any bigger? Nine two looks like it. Hmm. So, what's our distance here? a little short because of that chamfer so we'll just jump back here Four four. You know what, let's give it another half a millimeter. I want to give it a little bit more grip on the bottom, so let's try something out here. These slots I'm making 0 0.4 deep 
and it's to hide my first layer. And to make this easy, I'm just going to use a linear pattern. I want it to stop before the end over here, so that there's the same amount of space. And go along that axis. Change the span to 12.75. And 13 looks like a good spacing. That'll give a little bit more grip. And we'll take this over Kira and slice it using the one at a time mode. And that's where it, it prints one at a time and then moves to another area of the build plate and prints another. We'll see how many we can fit on there without running into each other. All right, I'm going to take this over to Kira in just a moment, but first I'm going to make myself a quick grid of these parts to help place them on the build plate in Kira. Again, using the clone tool and the draft workbench, using hotkey C and L, and then just Moving thing, moving everything around with the uh, placement tool. So unfortunately, Kira will not. You can't control which order it prints the models in. So we could be running over each other if we're not careful here. So. What I'm going to do is select generated G code one row at a time in relative extrusion mode and then paste the G code together. everything's in relative extrusion mode don't really need to worry about anything else we should be good to go These all turned out great. It's got a pretty good hold. Let's try that with one of the old ones for comparison. Mm. 
can see they're breaking. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks.